It's funny because I talk about it with my friends all the time about there's so many different ways to go about getting things in life and I just think the way that I was able to accomplish getting a medical degree and becoming a doctor is so unique. Coming to a school offshore, you're going to have to work a little bit harder, but I think the fact that we're here at AUC in itself shows that we kind of go the extra mile. You know, we're those students that work harder and we're ready to do what it takes once we get into clinicals to sort of hit the ground running. The success rates here just keep increasing, they just keep climbing and it's, it's really impressive, I mean, um, it, it makes me hopeful. If I do want to go after a competitive residency, I feel like I will have the opportunity to do so. The residency placements that students have been getting have been excellent and they've been comparable to students um, in the United States. It's critical that each and every student that graduates has the opportunity to do a residency of his or her choice if possible or at least something that is closely aligned with the student's first choice in their career path. I matched at Rush University for, um, I'm going to be OBGYN, so very excited. My first choice was absolutely ecstatic. I'm doing my general surgery residency at the University of South Carolina. It's called Pal uh, Palmetto Health Richland. I'm doing my fellowship at uh, East Carolina University in trauma and critical care in Greenville, North Carolina. Those were both my first choices for uh, general surgery residency and for my trauma critical care fellowship. In 2010, 50 percent were able to get their first choice and many of these were able to get coveted positions. There was a hierarchy of difficulty in obtaining radiology or anesthesiology, general surgery and in particular orthopedic medicine and we had AUC graduates match into each and every one of those during the 2010 match. I never thought that this was possible, like if I wanted to do something so specialized. General surgery has gotten to be competitive and a lot of people think that they can't do surgery. They automatically eliminate certain competitive specialties because they went to a foreign school and that's not the case anymore. A family friend of mine, he actually is doing a surgery residency uh, in New York, which is, which is a great thing for a lot of people to be in a, in a city like that and also be able to do a residency such as res surgery, that's a, that's a really excellent, you know, goal and you know that was one of his goals coming in and he was able to achieve that which I think speaks volumes as far as you know the preparation that you get here at AUC. Personally I feel like it's going to give me an advantage. It's going to show maturity, it's going to show confidence, it's going to show that I was able to go somewhere under non-ideal conditions although it is a tropical <laughs> island. I got to live on a Caribbean island for two years, I got to live in a European country for a year and my education was just as good if not better than you know, had I gone to an American medical school. So I just think I got to have all these life and world experiences and at the same time as becoming a physician. Um, and I wouldn't go back and change anything.